Kaya, Wanji, Union Quarrel, Wardong, David Collar, Uchibal Jerby, Monkin, Wajak, Wujak. So thank you. My name's David, or you can call me Wardong. Um, what a beautiful, and as I said earlier, I said, what a beautiful presentation that we have for what we call improving this time. And it's good to see you, Bruce. Um, one of the realities that we have is when you look at the input into that plan, we don't see too much Noongar stuff. Even when we look at our makeup of our board structure of the Perth NRM as presented by the auditors, we don't see a Noongar Roger person on that board. When I first got involved in regards to looking at how to increase Aboriginal people engagement in, in NRM, the strategy was to look at what's all there and also try and complement that. So that value to what's actually in place. Because as a Nyunga, we make up 3% of the population. So it's like pushing that hard rock up the hill. It's not going to happen, is it? Well, it's going to happen with a lot of effort. It'll take a while. The future, or the new normal as we've been presented, we've got to change the way we go forward. We have to change the way that we do business right now. And we're not just talking about climate change and looking at the emissions that we have to try and ensure that we do not increase it to 1.5. We're not talking about that, are we? We have to change the way that we do business right now. Not tomorrow, now. Because if we don't, it's going to be a sad day in 30 years' time. The reality that we face today is that we have done a lot of damage. And when you listen to that beautiful presentation of the new normal, you can understand that this is what the Noongar people, the Wajuk people actually so they lived in cohesion with what we call all our nature in support of what we call our mother earth, our Buja. The truth of all of this is that when you're in sync, you know what's going on with your country. You know when to move out from the, the wind and the beach and go and live under the trees. What we have is we have a population of people that have settled and made sure that they are not moving. So something has to give. And so the, the, the degradation that Paul talks about is happening. It's happened. Fixing it, it's like us Noongar is trying to push that rock up that hill. So there's a lot of hard work that needs to be done. But coming from our point of view as Noongar people, if there is not that cultural immersion occurring now, today, then that's not going to happen for us. The inclusion of Noongar culture or Noongar science into the improvement of how we look after our country, how we look after our waterways, how we look after our coastline. That's not going to happen. It would be good if we did. In partnership, that would be great. And that's what I talked about today, tonight is the idea if Perth NRM is prepared to join up and unite with the Noongar Nation of the Wajak people here, we would be more than happy to be able to develop that and strengthen that partnership in a way that it's never been done before in any of, I think it's up to about nine now, regional NRM groups across the state. It will take one or two. The whole idea that we're saying is that that change has to occur now. And if we don't do that, then that plan for that wonderful new normal will be still excluding the Wajak science, the Noongar people being part of that. 
And so, thank you, Paul, for the opportunity. I believe that Peter's probably going to present something that's much better. <laughs> because he is the chief scientist. And I love him. I love Peter. He's, he's, he's amazing. Um, to be given that sort of scope is, is what we're talking about. You've got to have that passion. I'm not saying that more now people don't have the passion. It's just that the opportunities have never been presented to us in a way whereby an auditor can say, uh, we've spent all this money in this space for including the Noongar Nation into our equation of delivering on-ground works in a cultural way that is appropriate. But also, we've included the Noongar language into our dual signage so that people are connected to country but also connected to culture. We have spent that money on our wonderful entertainers with Gina and Guy, because we wanted to hear the songs being sung, not just the birds, but we want to hear the songs of the Noongar people being sung across country. Because we have connection. And when we sing to heal our land, we have songs that need to be sung. And that is the way that we are working with our, our, our budget. So the reality is, is that unless you're prepared to give a little, these things won't manifest themselves to you. Unless you're prepared to suck it up, as we say, and say, well, this is not fitting into the box. This is not our core business. It does not fit in with our mandate or our financial restraints that we have been placed upon. We cannot do that. If you do not start putting those things away and start looking at how you want to include and be immersed in the Noongar culture and how they can support not only the great work that Perth NRM is doing or proposing to do, that wonderful plan will still have that missing piece. And as my friend Bradley Young from Canada said to me, to actually achieve great things in the future of healing the country but also saving the planet, the First Nations peoples have to be in the front. Thank you.